Hi everybody, this is Jeremy from the Practical IT channel and today we're going to look at grabbing a copy of Ventoy and we're going to create a new multi-ISO thumb drive. So let's get started. All right, here we are on the Ventoy website, ventoy.net. And the first thing we need to do is grab a copy of the latest release of Ventoy. So I'll go to downloads and we're going to grab the Linux version. 1.0.89 is current as of the recording of this video. So we're going to go ahead and grab that, grab the tar gzip version and that's downloaded. So we will go ahead and head over to our downloads folder in the terminal and we can unzip and extract this with tar zxvf ventoy all right and as you can see it created a directory called ventoy with the version number so we are going to go to ventoy and we'll list the contents of the folder there and we've got a couple of options at this point we can run ventoy to disk.sh and we've got a command line version of Ventoy. We could also run Ventoy GUI for Linux. It will ask for the sudo password. And this brings up the exact same interface that you would see on a Windows system. Now I'm going to go ahead and insert my thumb drive in the computer. Again, it's going to ask for the password and we may need to refresh. And as you can see here, it does come up with a 128 gig flash drive. Nothing is on the device currently. We can go in here, we can set options. For this one, I'm just gonna do MBR. If you have a newer system or you know you're going to be using it on a newer system, you may want to use GPT. You've also got the option of partition configuration. This is useful if you're going to use a live ISO and you want to save some space at the end of the disk so that you can preserve um, some files all contained on that thumb drive. So at this point, we're gonna go ahead and just click install. All data will be lost. There's nothing on it. It's brand new. So we'll say OK and OK again. And Ventoy has been successfully installed to the device. Close the Ventoy application and we can open the USB stick. And as you can see, it's labeled Ventoy and there's nothing on it. So we actually want to open up a second window. We're going to go into the downloads folder and we are going to grab a few ISO images and we will just copy them over. And it's worth noting that whether you create the Ventoy USB stick with Windows or Linux, once the initial creation has been completed, you can copy ISO images onto this disk from any operating system that allows you the option to copy and where you can insert this disk. So if you had a USB-C to USB-A adapter for your Android phone or tablet, you could in fact download ISO images on that device and transfer them over to this USB stick. Likewise, you could do the same thing in Mac OS or Windows or any of the other operating systems that are out there. So this should be copying everything over. There's Ubuntu, Win 11. So it's still copying in the background. Uh, and there is a progress bar on the icon in the dock over here. So I will be back once this has completed and we will continue on. All right, our file copy process has completed 
At this point, we can eject the disc and the device can safely be unplugged. And that's all there really is to it. And now you could take your disc and you could put it in any computer that supports MBR uh, partitions and you can boot this and install an operating system or use a utility disk that you've loaded. And that my friends will bring us to the end of another video. I hope you found this useful. If you did, please feel free to give a like to the video and subscribe to the channel. And on that note, thank you once again for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.